Hi, this is Ben from Gold Stackers with a quick and dirty video on a fake silver bar that we've encountered that filled an XRF machine. So, what we have here is a 100 gram silver bar, ostensibly, that passed XRF due to a thick silver plating on the bar. You can see some of that silver plating is actually flaked off there, so it's pieces of real silver that are just there. But the bar itself was nothing more than a silver case with chunks of copper inside. Correct weight, XRF detected it was 100 grams of silver, but someone noticed that the bar was too big for 100 grams, which is just over 3 ounces. You can see here a 10 ounce Perth Mint bar next to it. It's approximately the same size, if not a little larger, certainly not three times the volume. So, somebody bought this, someone was ripped off, and XRF said that it was genuine. What I'm going to do is a quick demonstration of the ultrasonic thickness testing again to show how we can use ultrasonic thickness testing to determine the thickness of this item and that might have saved somebody some money. So what we've done here is pre-entered 3650 meters per second as the velocity of sound through silver. I'm going to put a quick dob of glycerin on there and we'll use the transducer to measure the thickness of this. Four point nine to five millimeters. It's obviously much thicker than that. If I try it on the other side. You get a reading of one point three. Obviously something is awry with this bar, and sure enough, when it was cut in half nothing more than a thin case around some chunks of copper that's then been plated with silver and that there was thick enough to fool an XRF machine into reading this as pure silver. Just as a quick control we have here a Perth Mint 10 ounce silver bar approximately 14 millimeters thick quick double glycerin maybe a bit too much There we go. Measured 14 millimeters, reading 13.9 using the ultrasonic thickness gauge. So, just showing how a simple $200 device can outwit a $20,000 machine and save someone from a potentially expensive mistake. It's a good thing this wasn't gold.